Oh man, being trapped in a cave is not fun. Hopefully I can find my team and get out of here. But right now... There. Oh, hello. That object in my hand is really reacting. Oh, look at you, Dean, trying to react. To my presence, I don't like that very much. Mark of the Rift. Ah! Now that I like. Uh-huh. Every time we deal damage, I get more focus. Ah. That I like. What am I going to kill today? I'm going to kill everything over here. Right now. And done. <laughs> now that was pretty cool. I was wondering how they wanted me to kill the entire group of demons. Hold on, which way should I head? There might be loot for me. And I do enjoy a good amount of loot. Not over here, naturally. But over here. Well, I'll be taking that, thank you. Oh good, I can give it to the lady who likes to research creatures. Can't go over there, maybe only over here? Yeah. Well, off I go. Hello? Anyone home? Oh man, I feel like Luke Skywalker, but I need to settle into the belly of a beast. Oh great animals, I'm freezing my nipples off here. They're like diamonds. Oh uh, yeah, definitely getting a Luke Skywalker vibe. So cold. Need animal body warmth. Here we are. I'm pretty tired, yeah. Oh look, a campsite. Maybe. Is it one? I really can't tell, but we'll find out. Oh, an old one. Okay, I thought it was one that I can make up. It's cold. Nothing. Oh man. I'm on the precipice of life here. Should I not find shelter, I'll be dead. Couldn't imagine how cold I am right now. <laughs> yeah, how cold I am. Nobody. I'm content to watch your back. In a literal way. I wonder how far I need to go. But no animals have attacked me yet, which is surprising. Come on. I mean, knowing how cold it is out in Haven, you think they would bring a cloak? Not so bad now, huh? Keep on pushing on, friend. <laughs> We're trying to. A little bit further, we might make it. Numbers. Recent. Oh, good. We might be able to find something. One step, two step. Come on. Don't you die on me yet. I wonder where we'll go from here. Keep in mind, a great deal of our army was killed off. And then they had to get out of here. I don't know how many lived on. I mean, it was a brutal fight. Oh, hello. Signs of battle or signs of my friends? I have no clue. Thank the maker. Oh, they found me. Ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus so we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need to rest. They've been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow. And with time to doubt, we turn to blame. 
infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are. Which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. Or without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature. Only his effect on us. They're arguing about what we do next. I need to be there. Another heated voice won't help. Even yours. Perhaps especially yours. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen him return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure? What we, perhaps, must come to believe? Hmm. What's over here? I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course. And the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? Mother Giselle, I just don't see how what I believe matters. Lies or not, Corypheus is a real physical threat. You can't match that with hope alone. An army needs more than an enemy. It needs a cause. A word. A wise woman, worth heeding. Her kind understand the moments that unify a cause. Or fracture it. The orb Corypheus carried, the power he used against you, it is Elven. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. I do not yet know how Corypheus survived. Nor am I certain how people will react when they learn of the orb's origin. All right. What is it and how do you know about it? They were foci. Used to channel ancient magics. 
I have seen such things in the Fade, old memories of older magic. Corypheus may think it, Devint. His empire's magic was built on the bones of my people. Knowing or not he risks our alliance, I cannot allow it. This whole mess is confusing. I can see how elves might be an easy target. History would agree. But there are steps we can take to prevent such a distraction. <laughs> I hate that outfit so much. <laughs> They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? He came after me because my efforts put the Inquisition in his way. Perhaps in more ways than you've considered. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. You. I tried to serve faithfully, to understand the burden I was meant to carry. That is always a struggle. You're not sure about this? There's no faith without doubt, yet I believe this is the only path before us. There would be no Inquisition without you. How it will serve, how you lead, that must be yours to decide.
I will restore what Corypheus could never destroy. I am but a servant of the light. The Inquisition belongs to the faithful. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? Will you fight? Will we triumph? Your leader, your herald, your Inquisitor! So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. We've seen no Darkspawn other than Corypheus himself. Perhaps it's not an Archdemon at all, but something different? Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage we can't ignore. Corypheus wants to restore to Vinter. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Tevinter is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City, that this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. It won't matter if he's wrong. What if he's not wrong? If he finds some other way into the Fade? Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Someone out there must know something about Corypheus. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he even exists. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. When you were at Therenfall, you uncovered a plot to kill Empress Selene. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army... An army he's growing. The Envy Demon gloated about a massive force of demons. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. He can help. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Sandra is going to kill him. <laughs> Lovely. This is the Inquisition. A dusty old ruin filled with battered soldiers. If you shut your mouth and open your eyes, you'd see that the Inquisition is our one hope. Oh, people from Orleus, how fun. Is that my chair? Ah, oh, kind of cool. I like it. No, I want to wear my armor and not what is on me now. It's a little bit weird. But no, I'll go meet with that guy later. And it shall be grand. <laughs>